Now let's take a look at how to create a login button, like the one you see here in the top right, where you click it and it brings up a pop-up that your users can use to log into their account. So if I jump over to the website builder, you can see here we have our header area and I'm going to insert that button into this empty column. So the way to do that is to go to our widgets panel, search for the same widget that you used originally, member space, and just drag that out into that area. Now by default, the widget is set to member space core, but we're going to change that to login and account pop-up button. And when I do that, you can see it instantly changes to the actual button. Now we still need to make sure we have our subdomain applied here, which is member demo. And then of course we can change what the button itself says. So if I wanted to change it to just login, now you can see it says login. Now a very important thing to note on this is I still have my core member space widget sitting in the footer. So you will always need one of these member space core widgets in addition to any login buttons that you have. You cannot just simply use the login button even though it is the same widget or it will not apply that kind of core code throughout the site. So now that I have that there, I can go into the design options and I can change the background color for my pop-up and then of course the specific button styling. So I think I need to make this button a bit taller. Let's change the background color. We could go to something like gray. Of course, we could add a gradient here. We'll change the border to white. And there you go. We now have a login button on the site. And let's go ahead and republish that. Okay, let's click our site. I'm gonna hard refresh because I think I'm seeing a cached version. There you go. And there's our new login button. And when I click that, it brings up our login pop-up. And let's go ahead and log in as our demo user here. Log into our account. And there you go, we see a page that says thank you for joining and it brings us to our members page. So that's the next thing I wanna talk about in this video is setting up a post login destination. And the way that we're going to do that is first within the member space backend. So let's log into our member space account. So the first thing I'll do is go up to member plans and now I can just edit my plans. Now I added this all access plan, which is kind of a general membership. So I'll go edit plan. Okay, so within the edit plan options, we have of course the ability to change the plan name or change the details. But really what I'm looking for is this after sign up. Where do we want to send members? And we are sending them to a page called slash members. So within the builder, you can see that I have a page built and it is called members. And that's where I have some member information and some navigation links for our members. So that's where you control where that's redirecting. Now I want to take a look at another area, which is in the customize and general options. Within there, we can see some settings for sending members without access to a location and sending members who log out of their account to a location. So this is where you may want to send users to your pricing page if they don't have access where they can actually join the site or if they log out, you may want to send them to the home page or a different page on the site. So one area I want to direct your attention to as well in here is this enable create account button within login form. So you'll notice when I'm on my site and I click login, it just brings up a pop-up that says log in your account. But if I'm not an existing member, I don't have an account already. So we may want to change that option and click enable create account button. And then it says, what should that button do? And we can either show them a page URL so we could bring them to our join page, or we could actually bring them directly to a sign up page or show a drop down of the various plans. So I'm going to say, show a drop down of plans. Let's click save changes. I'll go to my site here and refresh and click login. Now you can see I have a create account button added to this pop-up. And then of course we can go ahead, create our account, choose our plan and go ahead and complete the purchase. Now there's one interesting little quirk I wanna run through here and it relates to a setting that we have underneath our header and design settings. And if we scroll down, it's called shrinking header. And what shrinking header does is when a user scrolls down the page, the header bar actually shrinks down to a smaller size. And you'll notice that when I do that, this member login button is disappearing. So we've actually provided a little snippet of code below in the description, and we need to add this code to the site to be able to keep that login button persistent. Now it's just one line, it's very simple. So just follow these steps. First of all, copy the code below. I've already got it copied to my clipboard. 
Now I'm going to open up this little code symbol. It says access HTML and CSS. Okay. Within there, we want to look for something called header and footer CSS. Click on that. Okay. Within there, we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And I'm going to just add a new line at the bottom. And let's just paste in the code that we've provided and click save. So give the site a second to save. Okay, we're good. Now we click close. Now one thing I always encourage you to do after you add any code snippets is to give the site a hard refresh. So let's refresh. And that just gives an opportunity for the builder to kind of pull in that new code. So when I scroll down the site now, you'll notice that even though I am getting the sticky footer or rather sticky header functionality and my logo scaling down, my login button is staying persistent. So just a reminder, this code is totally optional. You don't need to use it uh, only if you're using shrinking header and you want that button to be persistent. That's it for this video on creating that login button and creating those member login landing pages and redirect pages. In our next video, we'll talk about how to manage members and how to create a dedicated account page for them to use to manage their membership. Thanks so much.